Hello, my creative friends! Olga Sobi here, and welcome to this new fluid art lesson. I have really missed my gradient pores, and today I want to go for gradient. But as always, trying something new, changing things up, and today I want to try using the gradient transition of colors as a background for the main flow. So here I have prepared colors from dark violet all the way to bright magenta, and I want to position them from the center out. So this is going to be more like a radial gradient, and, and those are going to be the colors for the main flow, working with very warm, rich color palette today. So let's see how it turns out. So without further ado, let's get started. I already have my secret message in place, Glee Flow today, and I want this painting to be really expressive and fun and beautiful, of course. So let's start adding in those colors. Here, first, I have some violet. This is a really dark violet. And this one, the last one color here, is um, permanent magenta. And these two colors are in between, so they both contain this magenta and violet, just in different proportions. So really smooth gradient today. So let's pour that in. Oh, I also added a touch of white to my violet portion, because this is such a dark color and it dries even darker. And I think having a little bit of white will help to brighten it up, especially for the dry result. Oof, poured my magenta a little too close here, but it should be all right. Also want to add a few just drops of this iridescent blue-violet, just to help me create some accents in my base. Using torch to blow out the air bubbles, and to create this gradient transition of colors, instead of blowing just from inside out, I want to blow in spiral. And for that, it's definitely super beneficial to have uh, some sort of spinner or Lazy Susan. If you want to see what I'm using and some other workspace setup recommendations, I have a free guide. You can download it on my website and the link is going to be in the description. So check it out. And today I'm working on 16 by 16 cradled wood panel. This is plenty of color on my panel for the negative space, and let's blow it out! So beautiful, perfect, perfect tropical storm. The transition is not super smooth. I think I need to push more paint out. Actually, you know what? Let's try spinning it a little bit first. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. This movement, it looks so much like tornado, you know, the perfect storm. And it would also make a really good technique for the black hole. So something for me to explore for my Dancing Universe series, 100% gonna do that. But today I want to use this as a background. Oh my god, I just love all this movement and effect that this, kind, this style of blowing out creates. Cyclone pour. <laughs> I added a little bit of primary magenta to my corners just to continue this transition. And something to keep in mind when working with violet and magentas is that they dry very transparent and also pretty dark. So um, the base is gonna look much darker when it's dry. And those colors, some of the iridescence is gonna shine a lot more through the dry paint. I'm trying to decide which way I want to position my flow, which sides I like more or less, and I'm having an extremely hard time here because 
all of them look so beautiful. So I think I'm gonna position my flow this way. I want it to go in uh, right through the center, but I want it to be in balance with the rest of the movement. Such a dark base, something warm will definitely look amazing. So starting with white, oh, look how the white were incorporates into violet. Works just beautifully. I want to have this flow thinner at the center and thicker to the outer parts. So the first one was uh, titanium white. This is just rose pink. A bit more of pinkish color. This is iridescent orange. This is iridescent gold. You definitely want to have a lot of gold. You know, it works amazing with violet color palette. A couple touches of yellow just for even more contrast. it all up with more white. All right, now let's blow it out. And I think I'm gonna uh, work in two directions. This way and then this way. It's looking good. I really love the center part. See with this white and violet and gold. Perfect. I think I just want to move this part here. Yeah, that's better. So now I want to work more on the outer parts here. I need to make them a little more rounded and soft. I really love the design and there's so much depth effect towards the center. I do feel like I want to add a little more bright gold. So here I have iridescent gold, but I want to use iridescent precious gold. So this one is a little more orangey and I think it will work nicer to just create a couple brighter accents. I am so happy with it. Oh my goodness, you guys. This painting is dancing and it makes me want to dance. Honestly, the movement here, but such a beautiful pop of color. I don't think I want to change anything else. I love how there is this depth effect. It just sucks you into the center of the painting with all this beautiful gold and shine. Super cool. I like that I added a bit more of this pops of primary magenta, the same as at the corners. It feels more in balance now. And again, magentas dry much darker and much more transparent. So it wouldn't be so red. It would be a little more muted. And yeah, I think it will really make the whole painting sing together better. I definitely love the overall idea of the spiral movement in the background. I definitely want to explore it with more different color combinations. What do you guys think? Do you like to see more vortexes? Oh, that's the word. Vortex blowout. Oh, I think it's perfect. <laughs> what do you think? I'm going to show you some details. I really love how wispy some of those lines are and I added a bit more bright gold. So here I have two golds now and one is more yellow, one is more orange. I think it makes the whole color palette a little more interesting. I definitely love this section a lot where my violet shines through the white. These colors, they work so amazing together. Like this part here, you know, it's definitely very, there's a lot of depth, a lot of movement and a lot of interesting areas just to explore this painting. 
All right, you guys, I would love to hear from you. What do you think about the outcome? And if you want to see fully dry and finished result, I will share it in the next video. So make sure to check it out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Create with passion and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.